So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the opacity transition in Premiere Pro. The first thing you want to do is create an adjustment layer by right clicking over here, head over to new item, adjustment layer, and then click on OK. Place it above your clips and it should be the same duration as your first clip. Search for the transform effect underneath distort and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Make sure that uniform scale is ticked and from this point on you can either create a scale in or scale out. I'm going to create a scale out around let's say 10 keyframes ahead. So that's where I want the clips to scale out and also want it to blend in with the second clip so what i'm going to do is head around 10 keyframes ahead and then scale this all the way up to 200 i'm going to set the stopwatch and then head towards the end just one keyframe back so not literally towards the end of the first clip just one keyframe back over here and then you can either set this back to 100 or to a certain point i'm going to pick 135 mainly because there are these black bars so mine's going to look like this i'm now going to graph this so what i'm going to do is click on the last keyframe and pull this handle all the way to the left make sure it's on level not too high or too low just about there and then you want to let go and it's going to give you this smooth graph which will look like this so now you've got your basic scale in or out depending on what you have chosen if you wanted to do a scale in it would be the other way around so it would go 135 and then 200 at the end if you've already graphed it it's automatically going to do it for you but it should look like this but i'm going to stick with a scale out next up you want to move both of these tracks up so i'm just going to highlight both of them and move them up and what you want to do is place the second clip underneath both of these place the beginning of it underneath the first keyframe of where the scale begins so you see how it's like over here 10 keyframes ahead of where the scale starts you can also reduce the length of the second clip but once you've got that sorted head over to the opacity settings for the first clip where the scale begins you want to keyframe the opacity make sure it's at 100 at the beginning and then head all the way to the end just one keyframe back and set it to zero so far it should look something like this for you but we are going to graph this opacity as well so click on the handle and pull the second keyframes handle all the way to the left once again making sure that it's on level not too high or too low just around there and let go at the end it's going to look like this you can improve this by adding on the s shake effect if you have it just place it on the adjustment layer with these settings so amplitude should be one frequency should be two the x shake should be zero zero twelve one the y shake should be zero zero ten one and the tilt shake should go zero 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 point five and then one anyways that's all for this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time peace